How's it going everybody, Badger Pokemon here, and welcome to my Silver Tempest Booster Box opening. It's finally here, not in time, not in time of the release for like Lost Origin, but it's here nonetheless, so I'm really glad about that. And let's crack this open, I suppose. Try to do it without damaging it too badly. Luckily though, I do have a new unboxing knife, this one right here. It's really sharp, so far I, I like it a lot. And way better than the other one I've been using for all the other videos. Really, really, really good knife so far. So here we are. A lot of booster booster packs that we have to go through. Just do it like this and lay it down. So we can have the booster packs like kind of in view, I suppose. And 36 booster packs. I'm not going to be doing the card trick because that's just too many booster packs. To do the card trick for. And I do want to get through this in a timely fashion, I suppose. Let's see what we can do. In our opening for, like, the, the ETB and the, uh, whatchamacallit, the three-pack blisters, we didn't get anything anything too great. I mean, we do- oh, we, we've pulled the Radiant Jirachi in that one as well, and a Metagross. But yeah, we didn't get anything too great, although we did get a few nice, um, uh, whatchamacallit, V-cards, like Reshiram and Omastar. But no, like, actually, we've gotten the, the Pikachu Trainer Gallery, and I've said in the video that was the best. I didn't mean in terms of value. I just think that is, like, one of the the best uh, character rests that you can get out of here. I really like the, the breaks with the with the Serena. Thought I should clarify that. Let me put the hollows over here. This right there. So let's see what we can go for this one. A few other things. I always like opening these... Uh, these booster boxes because we have a uh, a little bit of time longer than we usually do to talk about the stuff you know stuff that's happening maybe in the Pokemon world or just other stuff really one thing I do want to talk about is my Charizard UPC pre-order I have cancelled that I have said I'm not gonna go out of my way and it has been delayed again on like, like the 25th of November. And I wouldn't be, I, I would have actually held on to it if it was MSRP, you know, 120 euros or whatever. Oh, hang on. This is a really, really nice card for, I think I said this in, I can't remember where where this is from. Might be Incandescent Arcano or might be a Paradigm Trigger. But this is really, really nice. That's a really cool God of War illustration. So yeah, I did en end up canceling the, um, the Charizard UPC order myself. It has been delayed until the 25th and I just said, you know what, nah, I, don't, I don't really mind. I don't really... I, I mean, the cards are cool, the promos are cool. And like, you get a lot of uh, a lot of booster packs, which is nice. But... I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy it. If it was, if I had bought it for MSRP, I would have held on to it. I would have said, yeah, whatever. Just deliver it whenever. But I actually paid like 190 and as we pull our first V, nice. The first V we get in this opening. Oops, that's upside down. And I... As I stumble upon myself here a little bit. Let's leave this one up. Actually, let's leave up the, um, the Jirachi. If, if, if I can grab the, the sleeve, there you go. So I ended up canceling the order because 190, that is too expensive because you can right now, I recently checked, you can buy it on card market for the same price. So why should I wait if I wanted it? And it will go down even further, maybe by, by Christmas because it's getting another reprint in, in December. So maybe uh, around the Christmas time, it will be a bit more affordable on card market. I mean, the... Um, not the card stores, whatever over here in Europe, specifically Germany, they're just charging so much, they're basically scalping. So if you want to get that for a good price, I guess card market over here is really like your only way. I haven't checked eBay, I'd imagine it'd be similar. But yeah. It is going down a lot in price, which is nice, because everyone should be able to, to unbox that set if they wanted to. I might actually do, I might actually buy it when it is available for MSRP. Because the promos are pretty sweet. The three Charas are promos that you can get in here. Nice Rapidash holographic. And the other cards right here. Here's the code card. I still haven't sent away my my cards for grading, as I said in, in so many other openings. Like I think ever since the 
uh, what was it, Incandescent Arcana, where we pulled the Furry Soda Girl, which is actually available in, in Silver Tempest, so... Maybe we can pull that one, although the card I do want to pull is, of course, Friends in Gala, or Serena. Serena would be really cool. Oh, nice, our first V-Star, Reggie Draco V-Star. Really nice. And here's the code card. So yeah, Serena, got Friends in Gala, the Rayquaza from the Trainer Gallery. The one that, like, the, uh, what is it? Rayquaza VMAX. The one that also features uh, Sinia on there. That's really cool. I already have it in Japanese, but that, that's a really, really cool card. So I would want to grab that. One card that I also grabbed for, for grading is actually Lance from Paradigm Trigger. Which I did say, I think, in, in like Silver Tempest or something. No, I did. I think I did say it in the Paradigm Trigger. That is a really cool full art trainer as well. That I would have loved to get, but we did we did get the best full art trainer in our Paradigm Trigger opening, so I'm happy with that. But Lance's area is a really, really cool card in that in that set. Really nice, okay. Also, so that's the that's the Charizard UPC problem out of the way. The other thing I wanted to talk about, the videos that will be posted after this, you know, after the 23rd, they will be leading up to the release of VMAX Universe, which I have gotten a Priodor in for two boxes, also above MSR MSRP, but not too much above MSRP, I do have to admit, and only two boxes, which, you know, if it's, uh, if it's over MSRP, you shouldn't buy any. But I do want to unbox two of them and then buy buy a few more once they're available for for cheaper. I don't know when those will arrive. On the website it actually says like 12th of, of December is the availability. Which is like 10 days later after the initial release, unless it was delayed in Japan. But I think the release is still slated for, uh, for whatchamacallit, for uh, December 2nd. So I don't know what that's about. Or maybe that was just the, the other... The other stuff that you could buy then, maybe that one has been uh, a bit delayed. So, Rufflet, Fennekin. Of course, the um, the alternate art, as I've said in the ETB opening. Nice! Our first in a gallery card, Flaffy. The card that you want to pull is, of course, the Lugia V. Everything else, um, in terms of value, isn't worth uh, scoffing at. I think, actually, no, I think the golden Lugia V stars are also, also uh, worth... A slight amount, I don't know what, but as you know, I don't care about the values, I just care about the nice cars. That's why I really want to get the, the Friends in Gala or the Serena or the um, Rayquaza. Actually, the Rayquaza is like um, worth a bit as well. Are those? And so far, not, not, not great ports so far, I do have to admit, unfortunately, also, as I forget to put the the Flaffy into a sleeve. We still have plenty of boosters to go through. Let's put these over here. Hollows like right there. Okay, but we mustn't lose hope here. We could still pull something great in our um, Astro Radiance opening. Nice. Arcanine or Hizuian Arcanine V. Well, now we're Astro Radiance opening, the booster box opening. Which was, I think, the first booster box. No, 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 that wasn't the first. The Lost Origin, actually, the Japanese one, I think, was the first booster box I opened. But that was the um, the first alternate art I I pulled on the channel in the Astro Radiance. But that we pulled that very, very early, like after like eight booster packs or something like that, like very early on. But we'll see what we can do for this one. Nose goes for this one, apparently. The pulls haven't been great from what I from what I could see from the little little data everyone has gathered. Pulls aren't great. Well, about what you would expect, like from um, Lost Origin as well, which which also wasn't great. And I'm I'm actually thinking about doing a video where I talk a lot about like like pull rates if they have gotten worse or something. But I'll I'll have to look into that properly. And we'll see what we can do from there. But that would be kind of an interesting video, you know, like, compare. Um, if pull rates really have gotten worse, the last three booster packs from the from the right side. Okay, and the last three booster packs right here. 
as per. Let's see what else we can get. Maybe a nice Train the Gallery card. Or maybe a nice alternate art. You know, there is. There are uh, s multiple alternate arts in here. It's not just the Lugia. You know, the one that everybody wants. There's also the Reggie Draco, which I would be really happy about. The Reggie Draco looks sick. That looks really, really nice. But yeah, Silver Tempest. Our last main expansion for Sword and Shield. You know, Crown Zenith is coming up. 20th of January, I think. And that is like a subset, if you will. Kind of similar to like Shining Fates. And that will be amazing, you know. Like, Crown Zenith will absolutely be amazing. When, when it does get released. And after it gets released, I will be doing my every Sword and Shield pack opening. Which I am very hyped about. I've bought, I've, I've bought every single Sword and Shield booster. You know, from, from base set up until Silver Tempest now. So, we'll see what we can do there, but that's still, uh, still a little ways away. Still a little ways away, Brandon. And a holographic Archaeopos. Archaeops. Archaeopos, Archaeops. What ifs? So far, the pulls are about on par, which what I would expect, you know, judging by, by all the posts over on Reddit and all the other social media. Let's just pull these over to the right side right here, so they're in view. Like, people have been buying cases of this set, you know, a case, six booster boxes, and they have pulled zero alternate arts. So, that's kind of crazy, and that's like something that I, I was thinking about. Yo, have pull rates get a, have pull rates gotten worse? Or what's going on? Like, th that, that's, I think like that's too, um, that's a bit too rough. You know, you buy a whole case, and you get zero alternate arts? I mean, what's the deal? But then again, if they were so hard to pull, wouldn't they be more expensive? I don't know. Because it's all uh, supply and demand, right? So if the alt arts are that hard to pull, shouldn't they be more expensive? I don't know. Not that they should. I think if they were cheaper, cheap, much cheaper, that would be great. That would be more affordable, of course. No scopes for this one. You know, so far, I do have to say, this booster box opening might actually be, so far, the roughest one I've had. Like, what? what is this? So many duds? Or maybe it's just me, you know? I mean, maybe it's just the mind playing a trick here. Maybe thinking it's it's bad, but maybe it's just about about what you would expect. You know, an alternate art would stun, and then the alternate art would make it worth it, but, you know, it doesn't matter if it's worth it or not, it's still fun. Can't forget that. I'm doing this because it's fun. And that, you should do that too. I mean, if it's, it's fun for you to open packs, do that by all means. But you shouldn't open packs to, like, expect a pull so you can profit off it. That's not gonna work. You're gonna be very disappointed, I can tell you right now. But just open packs because it's fun. And what I usually do is, I usually open a booster box, or in this case, like in like an ETB, a three-pack blister and a booster box. So we got nothing in this one. And then that's about it. That's about all of the set I'm going to open. And if I, if I want the card, I'm just gonna buy it as a single. I'm just gonna buy singles. That's much cheaper in the long run. And you don't get frustrated. If you, if you easily get frustrated because, you know, I didn't get the card I wanted, then just buy singles. Buy the singles. Rolls, Fletchling. So we have a... Oh, okay! The second Brakeson. Nice. And a Reggie Lecky. A double pull in this one, really, really cool. We've pulled the Brakeson again, as we did in our in our first opening, you know, the ETB and the three pack. We've also gotten a Reggie Lecky. Really nice. Okay, we still got a few packs to go through. If I had to guess, hmm, maybe like 18 or something like that. So we still have a few chances here for something amazing, like a full art trainer, or even an alternate art, or maybe a trainer gallery secret rare, you know, the ones that are textured. Those were known as character secret rares or character super rares over in, in VMAX Climax. 
which in V-Star Universe is they are gonna feature art rares, so AR as a rarity. No character rares, because of course they don't feature characters, they just feature Pokemon this time around. And there are art secret rares. A lot of the cards have been revealed. I've actually done a post on my channel, which was unlocked by YouTube. I don't know why, but that's that's really nice. Oh, okay. There is our car our trainer gallery secret rare. The Duraladon with Raihan on top of it. Yo, okay. Nice. We did get something cool in the end here. A Duraladon. Let's just look at this. Like a bit up close. That looks really cool. That looks really, really nice. Really well illustrated as well. Let's put this into a sleeve right here. You can chill on top. And let's continue. Alright, Venonat. I mean, if I go on about the, um, what should we call it? What was the last opening? Like, um, it wasn't Lost Abyss, it was Lost... Was it Lost... No, it was Lost Origin. Lost Abyss is the, the Japanese. Oh, nice, the Forest Seal Stone. Um, we actually gotten two, uh, two character secret rares, so like the, the Texture Trainer Gallery cards, so maybe we can get two in this one as well, which would be nice. Still hoping for the Friends in Gala because that actually is part of the of the Trainer Gallery set. As I struggle to get this one out of here, come on, there you go, there you go. We've got a Relicant, a Lucha, Rufflet, Vulpix, Browsy, a Phoebus, and a Victini. Nothing for this. But mustn't let that disappoint me or stop me, we'll continue on. on. As my stack of bulk keeps climbing higher and higher... Oops. My stack of bulk keeps climbing higher and higher. But let's see. I'm, I'm thinking we can get another Trainer Gallery card. I'm pretty sure. You know, nothing is promised in English booster boxes unlike Japanese ones. Which is part of the reason why I prefer Japanese booster boxes, because you're promised... Oh, okay! A full art ho o v nice. Really cool. Full art ho o. Just check this one out. Yo, that's a lovely illustration. That is that's really, really cool. Okay, so in the end, it is coming through. The booster box is coming through in the end right here. We still got plenty of packs to go through. Maybe, or hopefully, even another Trainer Gallery card. What else is there? There's the Mawile that you can get as well. No, featuring, I think, Barry from um, from Diamond and Pearl. That's like something you could get, which is really nice. Nothing in this one, though. Maybe we could show it off. That would be really cool. We can pull it so we can show it off. The Mawile is really nice. Of course, the Yurti Drake, but I've talked about the alternate art. And so on and so forth. But yeah, Crown Zenith. Just go back to Crown Zenith for a bit. That card or that set is gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm gonna be opening so much of that set. Like, that set is gonna be amazing. Also, the um, the Lucario. Oh, hang on. Somehow my camera was turned. Don't know how that happened. But there you go. We're back. We didn't miss anything. No. No awesome pulls in this one. Still a nice few um, bulk cards for my bulk folder. And yeah, so Crown Zenith. So the Lucario, which is a, a art secret rare in VMAX Universe, that one is actually going to be a promo in the in the ETB, which is really nice. Like that's is that's a really really cool card, and we get it as a promo. So basically, you get it promised no matter what. Just buy an ETB and you have it, similar to the, to, well, Shining Fates, you know, where you got the, the EVV Max, and then what else, like, um, Champion's Path, where you got the Charizard V. So essentially you're promised an amazing, amazing promo, which is really nice. Also there's, like, tins of the, of the three birds. Very cool, like, like, um, Galarian Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Those ones are also promos in, in Crown Zenith. So that's something to look forward to. Nice, another ho-oh. We've, we've gotten the ho-oh box. 
the wrong the wrong bird of the two, Lugia would have been better in terms of an alternate art, but hey, I won't complain, because that's a that's a really cool card, this one, the ho oh. Kind of almost looks like an alternate art, but it's not, it's just so well illustrated. Goes well together with our full art that we've pulled. We've got three booster no four booster packs left. And then that's it about for the for the booster box that was last. Let's put them in order. And I can say, well, I'm I'm a little bit disappointed so far. Because well mainly I didn't get the 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 friends in Gala, but hey, it's all fun and games. I'll pick that up as a as a single card after all. And then it'll be fine. Still unboxing a card, I can I can definitely see why people like um, opening booster packs, you know. They wanna, they wanna like unbox or pull the card. They are chasing to make it feel real special. I can, I can definitely see why, why some people do that. But that's, that's a very expensive hobby. If you, if you only wanna have cards that you pulled yourself and you don't wanna buy singles, that's gonna be real expensive. And actually, well, probably not feasible, to be quite honest. But you know, each to their own. Whatever makes you happy, just go for it, man. I ain't judging. Oh my god, okay! We've pulled the Reggie Draco. Rainbow Rare Reggie Draco V-Star. Holy moly. Nice. We did get another pull in the end. We'll see if something else is hiding in the two, but oh, that's amazing. Rainbow Rare Reggie Draco V-Star. Check this out. That's, that's really, really cool. This might be my favorite pull now. That's really nice. A sweet, sweet rainbow rare. Let's see, maybe we can get something else, but so far, like, now I can say, okay, that was worth it. That's, that's a pull. That, that, like, put me over the edge now. Where I say, yeah, that, this was, this was really cool. Oh, and it keeps getting better. It keeps getting better with another trainer gallery card. With the last trainer gallery card, I think we we should be getting right here in this opening. There shouldn't be any other th other things, but maybe prove me wrong. You know, there have been booster boxes in the past which have two alternate arts, so you know nothing is really promised here. As I struggle to open this last booster pack, put this over here for the last one. We're going to be doing the card trick. Now always do it for the last one. You know, a bit of tension for cards. Right here. And let's see, Halucha, Rufflet, Volpix, Drowsy, Rowlith, Leaf Energy, a Krokorok, Dratini, and an Anorith. Oh wait, Mouse Stick and a Delphox. Okay, I did the card trick wrong. I did the card trick wrong, but nothing in the last pack. Well, let me just sort through this so we can see what we've got. Okay, so we have gotten in total, four Trainer Gallery cards, two normal ones, and one Trainer Gallery Seeker, I'm just gonna call it because that's like one that has texture, in terms of this one, these ones. We've got, which I didn't even notice this one when pulling this, we got Reggie Draco V-Star, like Rainbow Rare and Regular one, that's really, really cool. That's really cool, we got the, the Ho-O-V, and the, the, or the Ho-O-V Full Art, and the normal one. And of course the Reggie Lecky, the Arcanine, and the Majorana. And we got a Radiant Girachi, which we've also gotten in our other opening. But yeah, after pulling this one, I can really say this was really fun to open. Even though I didn't get the Friends in Gala or Serena, any of the cards that I really wanted, it was still really fun. I, I had a lot of fun unboxing this. If you did have a lot of fun watching it too, then I would greatly appreciate if you liked the video, uh, subscribe for more content in the future, and I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, peace.